I don't think this is saved into the same part. I think this is going to be the second part of this video and I don't know how to edit and put it all together. So this is part two. It looks like it's going to be because it's just started again. Um, so if you want to watch part one, I shall link it when I've uploaded both videos. Right, so what we're doing is we're testing the key, the Co I Nor 48 palette paint, 48 paints in, in um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what's that, eight palettes? Yeah, in the eight palette set, in these little palettes, we're test giving them a test out to see what they're like, see how vibrant they are. Um, they're supposed to be like ink. They are watercolour paints. Um, so let's get on with testing them. So, so far I've done um, a silver. I've done an orange. I've done like a darker deeper orange like a pumpkin orange and i thought i'd just tested a gold but it turns out to be like a bronzy color but both of these have got a shimmer in the silver and this color they both that does not look gold but then they as i was saying they haven't got any um numbers or any um reference to which what colors they are on them so we don't know um so i want another color now i was wondering if there was any more in here that were metallic because i've only found the silver and that color um now that one looks metallic that wasn't the one i used no it was over here this could be the gold. Right, let's see. It looks a golden colour. Very light gold though, not like your normal rich gold colour. Right, we're going to try this here. Let's see if it's a metallic. Can't see at the moment, I've put too much water on. Let me just dab that a minute and do it again. I don't want too much water on the brush. I'm going a bit crazy because they keep drying out so quick. I mean, it's only, what, 20 degrees in here. And um, it's, not, it's not warm at all. It's quite cold today. It's raining out and, as I've said. And, well, if that was put over, that is the gold you'd have to put on about three layers. So we've got the silver, the bronze, and then the gold effect. But it needs to dry a bit to go a little bit darker. Right, so um, this, have we tried that one? I don't know. Don't think. Yes, I think we might have. I want to try another color. I don't know what to go for. What should we go for? Oh. How about this? There's a nice dark colour here. Like um, a maroon, burgundy. I don't even know if it might be red. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. Well, look how that's gone on as well. How rich that is. Oh, that's nice. Doesn't look like anything like the colour in the palette, which looks burgundy red. And this is a beautiful purple. Okay, and uh, about the one next to it, I don't even know, I can't remember if I've done this one. This is, I'm getting confused now, but this looks like pink. Oh no, that's a light purple purpley pink okay let's take some of that water off of there um right we've done most of that palette so i shall put it at the back um i don't know what's this this, this looks like skin tone 
or a peach. Let's try this. That's going hard again. Now, as I said, I've spritzed all these down. Well, that could be used as a skin tone. That's really nice, actually. So the non-metallics, they're drying out even quicker than the normal. Right, so let's grab another paper. I'll do one more sheet and then I'll show you the colours. Now this, this um, I'm using regular copier paper as I've said. I've, I'm having to say it in this video in case you're only watching this part. Um, but it's a little touch thicker. It, where no, um, normal cheap copier paper, printer paper is, I think, between 70 and 80 grams. I think this is 90 or something like that. So it's a little bit more. I mean, I should have bought some watercolour paper out, really. But you don't think of these things, do you? <laughs> when you're making a video, you're rushing around trying to get things ready. Um... Right, so what else? Um, one of these I've used. I've used that one. Let's try a, one of these browns. Should we go for the really dark one? Here. Which is like, um, is it burnt umber? Almost sets. Right, that's very brown. Let's take a little bit more. Put that on. I'll, I'll do the other brown, then I'll hold it up. That'll give it time. To, now my water's all gone gunky again. So you're going to have to keep changing your water all the time because it really sucks up that water. It really does. This is the second time I've changed that water in less than, what, a couple minutes, really. Putting them in. Right, that's a nice one. It's more like a rust, like a coppery, browny colour. Right, so the ones are mostly done on there. Um, I haven't done, what haven't I done on these reds? It looks like I haven't had a go on this one. Now this looks like very deep red. But like with that purple... We don't know what it's going to come out like. See, now that's more like a pinky red. See, and that looks like a dark red on there. So, I mean, have we got a red in here? I don't know. Yeah, that's like, that's not red. That's more like a pink, a very dark pink. Not fuchsia, darker than that. Right, let's try something else. Um, what haven't we tried now? We're just going to use the last of this bit of paper. Um, I haven't done this like navy. That's what it looks like anyway. So let's try that. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. They're very rich in colour for cheap paints. Oh, that's gone on gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, really nice. I wish I'd bought these before buying some of my expensive paints, to be honest. Um, have we done all these colours? I only want to swatch a couple more and I can't think of what I've done and what I haven't done here because I've mixed all I've mixed all the charts up. Um did we do that one? I think we might have. Um let's have a look. We haven't done this green and it's completely dried now. Let's try this green. Now I've wet it all. I do like them to the cakes to sit and soak before swatching though because it really picks 
and lifts that pigment up. I'm not doing it like this doesn't. This should be like an apple green. Oh, it is sort of. Right, okay. There we go. I'll leave that to dry for a minute and we'll get another colour up. One more and then we are done. What's the time on that? Ten minutes. Um, how about this colour here? This is like beige brown. Lift that up. I don't know why that's in with the yellows and that orange. It's actually, it looks a bit like yellow orc, to be honest. That um, beigey, yellowy, burnt colour. Yeah, it is. That's one of my favourite colours, actually. I like that. Right, so that is done. Right, so I'll lift them up. I'm going to leave them out to dry before I put them away. So that's how they come out. Right, let's see the palette, the colours. Let's move that across. So did these dry out? Yes, enough to touch. So these three are the metallics, the silver, the copper colour and the gold. They're not too great at all. The best colours in the palette are the actual the vibrant colours they pick up very well so that comes out like um, lavender so to touch not very chalky there's an underlying chalky feel which you get with wart colour and gouache and they feel fine you could stamp over them and everything else so and I, I suspect on watercolour paper they you know they they'd be fantastic in using in your art journals and your um handmade cards and whatever you like really so for cheap paints they're not too bad not too shabby so I thought I'd just come on and share this with you today. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.